Hi there! Welcome back to a Frugal Tech channel. It has been a while since my last video, but I finally found something worth recording. As you can see here, I have bought a new Raspberry Pi camera. And uh, this particular camera is a night vision camera. Uh, as you can see here, we have the sensor, which is actually uh, the same as uh, the Mark I no infrared uh, camera. So it's a 5 megapixel sensor and it doesn't have the IR filter so you can use it to see in the dark if you have um, some sort of infrared light. And we also have these two uh, infrared LEDs that can be attached to the sensor. And of course these uh, uh, screws and nuts to attach the LEDs to the sensor. So I have paid about 22 euros on Amazon.it and um, I will use this uh, little camera to uh, make a project with my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I would like to uh, create a night vision camera but uh, first of all I would like you to have a look at the sensor itself. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so this is our sensor, as you can see, we have this uh, plastic lid that uh, we have to remove, okay, also this sensor here has an objective that can be adjusted by screwing it in or unscrewing it, so the focus should not be fixed, I believe, we shall uh, uh, check later if uh, b um, we can um, adjust the focus via screwing or unscrewing the uh, objective but um, I wanted to show you something that I think is very cool even if um, you know I don't suggest you doing it uh, yourself with your own cameras because if you screw um, unscrew sorry the objective all the way out you can uh, expose the sensor of the of the of the camera and uh, i think it's a very cool uh, a very neat uh, thing to show you and so slowly i unscrew it and there you go this is a, a sensor of uh, a camera pretty nice thing to see huh Connecting the camera to our Raspberry Pi is actually pretty easy. We just need to locate uh, the correct CSI connector, which is located here. And uh, then we just remove this tape and pull this connector up. And now we are ready to insert our camera. Okay, now we put the camera in this way. As you can see, the contacts are facing the white uh, yellow uh, connector here. And then we close this connector here. And there you go. You have successfully connected your camera. Now we should head into the operating system and uh, take a look at what we can see. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you get into the operating system is enabling uh, your camera via the Raspberry Pi configuration tool. As you can see, I have already done it, but it's a very simple process and uh, it should only take you 5 to 10 seconds and a quick reboot. After that, we can head into the terminal and uh, use the command raspivid as you can see here raspivid okay so as you can see here let me fix the zoom so you can have a better view of the things that i am pointing at we pointing the camera at as you can see here is my old uh, cooler for my old computer I think that this camera is doing a pretty good job for the price. 
uh, there is uh, actually quite a lot of uh, exposure but uh, I don't think it is a problem since this camera does not have the infrared filter and um, let me check if uh, screwing or unscrewing the objective will uh, change the focus of the image oh oh Oh, yes, it does. It totally does. Very, very good feature to have. Okay. Okay. Not as good as an autofocus, but uh, we, for uh, 22 euros, we can get everything. So, well, I'm still happy. Okay, so, day vision works very good. How about night vision? Okay, so as you can see here we have uh, a pretty good example of a uh, night vision uh, video. Now this is the same uh, CPU cooler that I used uh, before and uh, as you can see now this uh, camera is working quite nicely. But uh, um, I can feel that the LEDs, the two infrared LEDs are drawing quite a lot of uh, current because uh, they're getting pretty hot so I would suggest you to add two small uh, heat spreaders so you can uh, dissipate the heat uh, more easily and here is the potentiometer you can use it to adapt the brightness of your LEDs or uh, to regulate uh, the way they dim so your camera can adapt to every environment, maybe a darker environment or a lighter environment, depending on your needs and your choices. Very neat. Okay, so this was a brief overview of the night vision camera for the Raspberry Pi. In the next videos I will do some more experiments based on night vision and I will probably build something out of this interesting product. Until then, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff and remember to stay frugal. Ow! It's really hot.